And finally, our final and last segment of the day, I'm so excited to showcase and show you guys what we have executed in the community. Now, I promised all of our viewers that with this media platform, we will not only promote, but be part of you know, the community, the community outreach, and making this the Central Valley the best place to live in California. You know, we're a third of the economy, we're a third of the state. California is the eighth largest economy in the world. So it is my absolute pleasure to introduce my good friend, my business partner, you know, an, a good inspiration to me, um, a nice balancing. He's not afraid to tell me how it is and shut me up and tell me I'm wrong. Chase Carter. Dude, what's up? How are you? My best friend. I'm well. Man. Thank you very much. Thank Man, you for having me today. we got right at home today. on the screen. Oh, yeah. We got you here from L.A. We hit a Central Valley school today. Yeah, yeah. So Chase Carter <laughs> is the founder and the CEO of Right at Home. Now, I want uh, you to explain to us what Right at Home really is. So the mission for Right at Home is to provide creative experiences and enrich people's lives by providing the creative experiences in their own backyards. So how we're going about with doing that, since we're an art-driven nonprofit, is um, setting up mural projects at different schools and bringing in prominent artists to paint with the students. Now, the, um, the whole idea behind Right at Home is, is kind of creating a raw state of mind and that being um, just being comfortable in your own skin and finding something that you're passionate about that you love and just pursuing it to your fullest just being you and being the best that you can be at all times and so that's really what we're trying to showcase and share with these younger you know generations and youth that we are able to come in contact with so so this is the wall we did today and uh, you know I, I'm a big fan of this wall because there's brick on it I really like the brick. Yeah, so this one was really fun. This one this one has been uh, the most hands-on uh, mural that we've done. Um, we've been doing, we've done six murals now in the last two and a half months since we uh, started the organization. And um, I mean, just thank the Lord for good people and, and people opening up doors and, and opportunities to share what we have to say, so. Um, yeah, it really is a cool thing. You know, I've been part of this since you guys have started. and. It's, it's actually inspired me a lot to really boost my community outreach, and it's actually inspired me a lot but behind the business of our show, you know, to actually not just say you're going to give back, but really do it. And you, you, we're business, man. You, you, we, we want to schedule something, we're on the phone right now, we do it, you know? Yeah, definitely. So it's cool to be able to execute these once a week. Now, I really, really want to thank uh, my mom, and I, I brought a picture of her today because she really was the one yes. that helped us out with this. You know, it's not really easy just to walk into a school and, and just be able to paint a wall and set a DJ booth up exactly. and uh, yeah. just, Thank you. just hang out with the kids, you know? So she pulled a lot of strings with us. Also the principal, uh, Orlando Balamo was a huge part of this. So if you are, you know, in, in Madera County, um, if you want to work with the school, I encourage you to reach out with him because he's a very resourceful, a very knowledgeable and a very creative uh, individual. So he was a lot of fun to work with. So we also brought um, our our guest, our DJ, you know, I, I call him the house DJ, our resident DJ here, Francisco. He was on our first episode. And, uh, you know, we brought him today. And we have a picture of him with the kids. Like, that is so cool. He, he is, is amazing. So cool. Amazing. You talk about a, a, a pure soul who uh, represents right at home, and that's an individual who does it. I mean, he shares his love and his passion with other people, and it's, it's phenomenal. I mean, he literally, I mean, he creates an atmosphere which just brings comfort to individuals and just, you know, pushes them to be the best and that they can days, be. And these days it's so yeah. hard to find a, a playlist of music that you can yeah. play in school. And did he, literally, he was working all day. So, you know, again, Francisco, we really appreciate you. We yes, kind of looked sir. at each other. Uh, we, we've done all this without any funding. You know, we, me and you have done pretty much everything to be where we are out of our own pockets. Yeah. And uh, I guess that's why we're, yeah. I guess we're, that's why we're such a good team, you know, because we're not afraid to, uh, to tell each other how it is and, we have some some really cool conversations. Um, I just never thought, you know, when we were kids, elementary school, high school, college, that, like, <laughs> we'd be uh, we'd be still working together and you know getting getting stuff done. So, you well, know, I'm super pumped we made it this far. We've been we've been blessed to know each other for so long, and I think you know, I, I mean, we I have to thank both of our families, you know, his mom and and my family for for supporting us and and just you know, giving us all the tools that we've needed to uh, pursue our dreams and accomplish them. And, and I'd like to do a special shout out to Advanced Droughtscapes who actually helped fund this this project here in the uh, Central Valley. Um, 
Yeah, we really do appreciate it because what I was going to do is today I was going to try and uh, sell one of our commercials in order to fund that project. So you guys, I'm really, really happy that Advanced uh, Droughtscapes just stepped in overnight and donated all the supplies. I can't tell you how much you know, that helps us. And it's a beautiful thing when a business just, just comes out and they didn't even want any promo time or any FaceTime or anything. No, we just not. want to express our gratitude, you know? Yeah, not at all. So, so another thing I thought was cool too today was these interviews that they were doing. So they have yeah. a multimedia program and they came over to me and, asked me and asked to interview me and they were asking the questions. So we're going to actually invite those two girls onto the show That'd and be awesome. uh, have them kind of share what they do at Howard and with the school, you know? So yeah, what's next, be... Chase? You know... What's next is just continuing to spread the good word, you know, one, one mural at a time and really one day at a time, you know, it's just, it's all about the relationships that you make on a daily basis, you know, that's going to lead you to accomplish your goals, you know, I mean, and that's what I think the overall, uh, well, what do you say? Well, yeah, because, uh, you know, we, we talked about for a long time being able to do this on a mass level where we weren't present at any of the events. So you could have five or six going on all over the United States at one time, but yeah. Chase said, no, 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 I'm never gonna do that. I'm never going to put an event where I'm not part of it. I'm not personally there. It has and I to think be that's personal. huge, yeah. like, that's huge. And again, that kind of inspired me to not only be a part of the promotion for all these cool, cool places, but be part of it, be there. The kids love that. I can't tell you how much they, uh, you know, how much fun they had. So we also have brought our uh, our beauty queen from our last episode out today. I think uh, we have a picture of her up. Did I email that to you? I will uh, see if I can do it do it nice and quick. Yeah, she came out today. I think you know, me and Chase set this up, but Francisco and Kathy Matheny were the uh, the most the, popular the stars people. of the show. Yeah, and definitely. It was absolutely definitely. crazy. There was kids lined up. All, she must have taken four hundred pictures today. How many autographs did 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 Francisco? Francisco get? had Probably a sign what, arms. Hundred arms. There was kid. He couldn't even see it because kind of like the kids were behind him. But it, there was a dance floor kids out in the field. It was a very interactive experience where we had the DJ and the mural going on at one time with the interaction of Kathy and she had her sash from her Miss California pageant and just us being there with your visitor pass on we all had right at home. I love that he still has his visitor pass on and he's still covered in paint. You know? So you know this guy came in straight from the, I had to yell at him and get him to leave because <laughs> I was so worried we weren't gonna get here in time. So how do you fund all this Chase? Like, Where could we get one of those cool shirts? Uh, what else can we do to help? Can we work with you? Can we buy from you? Can we donate? Well yeah, so um, like the first lady who was on, uh, the idea is we have a business model um, approach and we want to eventually be fully self-sufficient and um, support these murals through um, private donations and uh, th through donations we'll gift people uh, shirts as incentives so that they can uh, you know, be a representation of what's happening and what we're doing. Um, but at this point, I mean, I gotta give a big up to my little brother, Zachary, who's kind of helped me, you know, get to this point with all these murals. Um, but I mean, in order to continue doing what we're doing and, and accomplish our goal of doing 15 murals, um, you know, one mural a month until the end of 2016 here in the Central Valley, um, I mean, just Private donations, um, anything, anything that you know, you f feel like you can help out with, you know, would be huge. And uh, at this point, 100% of the money that we do bring in uh, goes directly back into these profits. There's no one getting a salary, um, so, and it'll probably stay that way for the next couple months, you know. So, and um, I mean, we vowed with the right at home to to never go below 80 cents of a dollar of the dollar that we bring in um so i mean right on you hear that now yeah you guys we want to say thank you just to the entire central valley and you the people that have helped us you know be kind of where we are today with the events and the experience that we have under our belt all the people that have been part of it we have so much more coming i can't wait to show you guys uh we're out of time today this is a quick picture of our uh of our personal beauty queen our local beauty queen right here out of fresno california kathy Matheny. Um, huge thank you to her today. She took, like I said, 400 pictures, <laughs> signed countless autographs, and she loved every second of it. So you guys check out Right at Home. Please check out uh, Brian Cage. Please check out Clean Fabrics as well as Made for Them. Every guest today had something awesome to bring. We learned a lot, and we, got, we benefited the community a ton with this episode. You guys, I can't wait till next week. Please uh, check us out Thursdays, Central Valley Realty at 3 p.m. with myself, as well as California Health and Fitness Live at 3 p.m. on Fridays. 
and I encourage you guys to reach out and please, please be part of it, okay? Thank you guys again, California Health and Fitness. Letty Pingatori focuses on the unique needs of each client. Call Letty if you need a realtor in the Central California area. Looking outside the SinCal area, Letty will refer you to the best Keller Williams agent nearest you. Letty Pingatori, realtor extraordinaire. Mike Briggs Properties sells homes in the Tower District and throughout Fresno and the Valley. Did you know we also sell businesses? Why work to build someone else's business when you could build your own? The small businesses we have for sale include restaurants, professional practices, and you can even own your own TV show. This week's featured businesses include an established pizza by the slice business in the heart of the Tower District and also available a laundromat in Van Ness Village. If you are interested in owning a business, call Mike Briggs Properties at 486-6758 and ask for details. Here at Central Valley Talk, we've chosen Select Business Systems to provide for our copy, print, and scanning needs. We used to think it was cheaper to purchase our own toner and maintain our own office equipment. But now, with the expertise and experience of Select Business Systems, our office workflow is running at peak performance, saving our company time and money. They've truly set us up with our new sharp multifunction copier, streamlining our office with the press of a button. To find out how you can improve your for office technology, call Select Business Systems at 446-0123 or visit their website at selectsharp.com.